Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl Fandilungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Uh, thank you for liking, always um, explaining further in our comments, just watching. Thank you for sticking around, and if you're new, thank you, welcome. Hope you subscribe. So today, you can find us on Instagram and Facebook as Fanny and Jesse, and feel free to interact with us there. We'll be more than glad to respond. So today I'm going to be reacting to how do I know that I truly love Allah. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. What are the signs that Allah loves you and you love Allah? What are the signs? You see, Al Hassan al Basri, rahimahullah, he mentioned that a group of people claim to love Allah so much. So many people claim to love Allah. Everyone claims to love Allah and Allah loves them, right? The sinner, the rebellious, the one who transgresses against Allah. So many people are claiming they love Allah and Allah loves them. Even the Christians and the Jews. They claim that Allah Azza wa Jal loves them. The Jews and the Christians, they said, we are the sons of God and we are his most beloved. So everyone claims this. So when Hassan al-Basri rahimahullah said, so many groups claim to love Allah, then Allah revealed an ayah that is going to measure our love for him, whether it's true or not. And this ayah, al-ulama, rahimahumullah, they refer to it as ayatul mihna. It is the testing ayah. Allah Azza wa Jal said, قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبِعُونِي يُحْبِبْكُمُ اللَّهِ Allahu Akbar. This is how we measure whether we love Allah and Allah loves us back. True love for Allah is to obey Allah and His Messenger. Allah Azza wa Jal said, Say, if indeed, you people love Allah, فَاتَّبِعُونِي Follow, follow me. Obey me, obey the Messenger of Allah. Because obeying Rasulullah is obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. يُحْبِبْكُمُ Allah. Allah would surely love you. So, if you obey Allah and His Messenger in all that they commanded, and you keep away from everything they prohibited and forbid upon us, and you do that lovingly and willingly, then truly you love Allah and Allah loves you. That's the measure. And I'll give you a simple example so you can understand. Let's say a person went to his father and he said to him, Father, I love you. I love you, Dad. And then his father said to him, Okay, son, thank you. Go and cut the grass. And then you as a son said, Sorry, Dad, I can't do it. I'm not bothered. Then you come again and you say, Dad, I love you. And your dad says to you, Well, stay at home tonight because we want to sit together and we want to talk, and don't go with your friends tonight. So you say, Dad, I love you, but I need to go see my friends, and I need to speak to them tonight. And every time your dad says to you, do this, don't do this, you keep saying, Dad, I love you, but I can't do this, I can't do that. After all this, you come back to your dad, and you say, Dad, I love you. What do you think? He's going to believe you that you love him? Look, your father is going to say, you're a liar, my son. You don't love me. I tell you do this, I tell you do that, stop doing this, stop doing that. You don't listen to me. So how can you say you love me? Allahu Akbar. Now you understand with this small example. How can you say you love Allah if you do not obey Allah? How can you claim you love Allah if you are committing sin after sin, transgression after transgression, not caring about your tawbah and your relationship with Allah? And then how can you worse off? How can you claim he loves you? If you are indulged in sin and transgression and rebellion, la, this is wrong. This is why Shafi'i rahimahullah said in a beautiful poem of his, Ta'sil ilaha wa anta taz'umu hubbahu, hadha muhalun fil qiyasi badi'u, law kana hubbuka sadiqan la ata'tahu, inna al muhibba liman yuhibbu muti'u. These are beautiful poetic words of a Shafi'i rahimahullah, he said, you disobey Allah while you claim that you love him? This is impossible. It's an unprecedented analogy. It's unheard of. 
if you love or if your love had been true, you would have obeyed him because the lover is always obedient to the one who he loves, Allahu Akbar. And then that's the first sign of knowing if you love Allah and Allah loves you. And that is by following Allah's orders and instructions and commands and keeping away from everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prohibited. This was straightforward for me uh, how do we know we actually love God simply by respecting him and respecting his um, the people he sent in this world to help us navigate life I mean that's not asking too much from an entity should I say an entity or someone because he's not someone uh, that does so much for us, protects us, showers us with blessing, uh, all those things, you know. I think obeying is just one, it's just one thing that isn't too much to ask for, because I'm trying to think of another way to explain it, but it's really, really not that much to ask for. All, all it takes is the way you conduct yourself on a daily, daily basis. Are you, are you asking for forgiveness or are you doing something that's not asking for forgiveness you know all that uh, accounts for but you can train yourself and turn it into a habit that you're able to respect God yes in the beginning it can be very hard but the fact that you really want to respect someone or other people involved you can you can actually do it if your mindset in, is in the right place i honestly feel like um you can really really do it and above all i just love how much god loves us always always remember that god loves us no matter what we're going through no matter who we are no matter how tall we are what we ate today god loves us regardless let me know what you guys actually think by drop um by commenting down below if there's anything that you guys want us to actually react to you can let us know by dropping the link down below we'll be more than glad to react to it make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video